Hey, good morning, sons and daughters of God, June 20th. Um, with good books, then ennoble the mind. Revelation 1, 3 says, blessed is he that readeth. We made it a practice to read instructive and in interesting books with the Bible and the family circle, and our children were always happy as we thus entertained them. Thus, we prevented a restless desire to be out in the street with young companions and at the same time cultivated in them a taste for solid reading. The volumes of the Spirit of Prophecy books should be in every family and should be read aloud in the family circle. The testimonies contain instruction which meets the case of all both parents and children. Should these be read aloud to the entire family, the children as well as the parents would be benefited by their counsels, warnings, and reproofs. Let the time be devoted to the reading of the scriptures and other interesting books that will impart knowledge and inculcate right principles. Let the best reader be selected to read aloud while other members of the family were, are engaged in useful occupations. Thus, these evenings at home may be made both pleasant and profitable. Children need proper reading, which will afford amusement and recreation and not demoralize the mind or weary the body. Most children and young people will have reading matter, and if it is not selected for them, they will select it for themselves. They can find a ruinous quality of reading anywhere, and they soon learn to love it. But if pure and good reading is furnished them, they will cultivate a taste for that. By practicing right doing, a disgust will be created in the heart for that which is low, cheap, and disorderly. Pure, healthful reading will be to the mind what healthful food is to the body. You will thus become stronger to resist temptation, to form right habits, and to act upon right principles. Have a great day today. You're a son and daughter of God.